Item number SCP-3867, Optic Class, Euclid, Special Containment Procedures. Foundation web crawlers are to track and erase any mention of SCP-3867 on the internet. Artificial intelligence construct TSAT has been programmed to monitor the dark web for any information relating to SCP-3867 or its creators. Description SCP-3867 is an anomalous website under the domain www.scpd.hothothot named Sweet Cats and Perfect Dogs. When visited, SCP-3867 will load a unique page displaying an image of the visitor's pet and describing the most recent actions taken by the subject of the image. Note. Following extensive testing involving the surveillance of testing personnel's pets, her described actions were found to be accurate and not describing esoteric actions. When visited by a subject with other dog or cat, SCP-3867 will instead display an image and the most recent actions taken by an animal available for adoption at the nearest animal shelter. Subjects will then be prompted to adopt the animal in question in order to experience these cute moments firsthand. SCP-3867 Testing Log Subject, Researcher Jade Result Franklin just snored a little bit, but didn't wake up. He seems to be dreaming about sleeping. What a lazy, lazy boy. Make sure to pet him as soon as you get home. He misses you and wants to sit next to you as you unwind. Subject, Researcher Watts. Note, Researcher Watts does not own a pet. Result, Dexter is pretty sure he just saw something dart across the wall, but he thinks it might just be that weird bright thing he can never seem to catch. He decides that rather than waste his efforts in grabbing this sneaky culprit now, he's going to let things play out. Sorry, Dexter, but that was just like coming in through the window. If you like Dexter and want to experience such cuteness in person, you can adopt him from the Chickanooga Cat Rescue, where he is currently in a foster home. Subject, Researcher Matthias. Note, Researcher Matthias does not own a pet, but expressed his parents own a cat. Result, Summer sunbathing was just interrupted by a raindrop. Uh-oh, Summer, you best find some way to hide before it really starts coming down. And here underneath the porch, it's nice and dry. Post-examination notes. It appears SCP-3867 is capable of identifying other animals the subject is personally attached to. Dr. Yurko. Subject. Researcher Elsis. Note. Researcher Elsis does not own a pet since age 16. Result. Pinto is playing in the field, passing the time until it's your turn to meet with her again in front of Rainbow Bridge. She's happy and running to her heart's content. Post-examination notes. Research into possible connection between SCP-3867 and SCP-3737 is currently ongoing. Dr. Yurko. Subject, D-1221. Note, D-1221 was selected for testing due to their history of animal abuse. Result, Nala wondered why her best friend was putting her in a sack, then wondered why she kept hearing all those funny noises until she wondered why it was so hard to move all of a sudden. Nala stopped wondering after she stopped breathing. Post-examination notes. This is the third time the messages condemned subjects who have committed some form of atrocity towards animals. I'd like to see what would happen when SCP-3867 is tested on someone who has neutralized a large number of them. Dr. Yoko. Subject, Dr. Leetley. Note, Dr. Leetley was selected to the position as lead SCP-1459 researcher. Result, a blender! Millie, it looks like a goddamn Jamba Juice!